Yo, it's your boy Mitri, aka Mitri Island. You watching Boss Talk TV? Okay, okay. Who's Mitri Island? Mitri Island is me. How you came up with that name? Uh, when I played football, I played corner, and we usually call that the island. Like corner position, like the receiver, they on the island, so that's how I got it. Okay, okay. Were you, were you good? Yeah. You still play, right? No, nah, not no more. What made you stop playing football? Uh, a car accident that happened with me and my best friend, TJ, and he died. And I lived, but like, the doctors, like I was in the hospital for like two, no, a month. And like after I got cleared for football too late and then like, I was finna keep playing, but the doctors, no, the college was asking for too much money. So I just said, I ain't gonna play no more. Okay, did you have offers? Yeah, I had. Before the accident, I had like eight offers. Okay, from, did you have any big schools? Yeah, I had uh, North Carolina. I had the school, Virginia Union. Uh, I was, my coach told me I was going to get Illinois. And the other one, they, they, wasn't, they wasn't big D1s. They oh. were like North Carolina Central, I think. Yeah. Okay, so like the accent kind of messed up your football career? Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, could you tell me about the accident a little bit? Uh, I really don't remember much from it or nothing from it. But I, like the stories people tell me, they were like, they say, I guess he was smoking that night or whatever he was doing. And then um, people told me that we were just, they, they see him drive around fast and stuff. And I mean, somebody told me they seen a, before the accident happened, they say they seen the Insta snap of me. It was like late night when we were driving, and they say I was asleep on Insta snap. He was recording me, and then he, uh, yeah, he posted that. And they say a few minutes after that, that's when the accident happened. Oh, okay, so you were asleep when the accident happened. Yeah, and they, they say both of us, like when we crashed, we we were both ejected from the car. You know? Oh shit! Yeah. So what? It was like a convertible. Yeah, the red, a red convertible. And y'all flew out. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So what made you decide to be like a comedian? Uh, like when I woke up out of the hospital and I checked my Instagram, I had like eight thousand, eight thousand followers, and like at first before that, I had like two thousand or a thousand, and then after that, I posted. I posted a video, I think of me dancing. No, of me playing foot like before like it was it was my spring game. I was dancing at uh spring spring game after we won, we beat Miami Central. Yeah. And stuff. And, um my teammates was hyping me up and I was dancing and when I posted that, I got a lot of comments and I got a lot of views on it. And I just kept it on my Instagram after that. I mean, I always danced, but I never really posted on Instagram. So then, like, after that, I start posting my dance videos, and I see that's what they like and stuff, and then start posting all the funny videos and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So, who was the biggest person that reached out to you so far? Uh, one way Frank. Um, this football player, Sam Bruce. Okay, okay. Kodak Black. Okay. Well, he didn't reach out for me because of the accident, but he's, I danced to one of his. Yeah, I'm thing. saying like, what, um, who's the biggest person that like reposts one of your funny videos or something like that sort? Kodak. And do you know who LPP Pooty is? Yeah. And Soja Kid. Okay, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah. So where do you see yourself for the next five years? Um, probably. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do you want to continue to be a um, a comedian or do you want to go back to football? Uh, yeah, I might just be a comedian and dance and stuff. Yeah, and I'm majoring in, um, in school for uh, early childhood education. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna teach kids. Okay, why you want to be a teacher? Uh, when I when I got in high school and I went to Deerfield. I got it. My coach put me in this uh, program called Teacher's Assistant. And that's like when you go, like you get, like once you get the teaching thing down pat, the teacher puts you 
like in classes to teach ninth graders and stuff and kids that need help. Okay. And I've been doing I was doing that. And then we went to elementary schools and teach little kids and I taught them. Okay. And, just, and then I'm gonna go back to the accent a little bit. Do you have like nightmares from it? Uh nah, not no more, but like when I first got the hospital, I had some uh yeah, him in it. Okay. And when, when you got up, well, when you woke up, I guess, did you, like, how did they break it to you that, um, what happened? When I woke up, I just woke up in the hospital. Um, I'm like, why well, I'm here. Then doctors finally came in and I asked, I say, what happened? Why well, I'm here. They said, um, I was in a, um, a bad car accident. And I was like, with who? They said, your friend, they never told me who. So my mom came in like, I, some hours or minutes later. And I asked her to use her phone to call my friend TJ to die. I was like, can I use your phone to call TJ? And she was like, nah, I need to get better. And then like, I was getting mad cause like she wasn't letting me call him. I'm like, mom, he probably worried about me or something. And then I kept asking her, can I use her phone? So then I said, can I use your phone to check, check my Instagram? She was like, no. And then like, when she left, like at the hospital, I had this little remote connected to the TV you can get on Instagram, but I forgot my password, so yeah. I, I was just thinking like, dang, what's my password? Then like a couple of days, no, yeah, a day later, doctor came in and, and he, they were like, he's ready. And I, now I'm looking around like, ready for what? Then they were like, um, Demetrius, your friend, he was in the car with your friend, Talitras, and he passed. And at first, I was finna cry, but then I thought to myself, I was like, oh, this is a dream. So let me just get this out of my mind. Now I went to sleep. Then I woke up in the same place. I'm like, this dream long. <laughs> <laughs> my mom came back. Then she, uh, I was like, oh, so that's why you ain't tell me um, that he died. That, I mean, that's why he let me call her, check my Instagram. She like, yeah, cause the doctors told me not to tell you, cause they said that I need to get better and stuff, and stuff like that. And then like when I got to the hospital, that's when I start really noticing that it was real and he was dead. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that shit hit me. You said you gonna continue to make funny videos. Is there anything that you want to add to what you do now? Uh. Man, yeah, it's just I like to dance. Okay, how do you come up with the things that you post? Like, you just wake up and do it? Yeah. Do you run it by somebody before you do it? Like, does this look good? No. And you edit your own videos? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Okay, what's one pet peeve on Instagram? Like, something you don't like? Some of the comments I get. Okay. Like, the negative comments. Like, what's one negative thing that you, somebody did that you'll never forget? Like some of the, like, funny, like, I, 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 like if I wear wigs, I know somebody will call me. Somebody will call me like, what the fuck, is he gay? I'm like, and they do that. Where you find the wigs from? You go buy them? Like, I had this Halloween wig, so I just kept it in my mom. They be having a little old wigs, and I just put them on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay. So how did your page like grow so quickly? Uh, first the accident happened, and then I used to dance and stuff. And I, like in the summer, or whenever the little shoulder dance came up, I seen the uh, girl do it. And then, like when I seen her do it, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make a video to this. And then I just added my own little sauce to it. And then after that, it got like, 20,000 views like in two hours. Oh shit. And a lot of comments and everybody was just reposting it. And I'm like, whoa. And then I had like 20,000 followers. And after that, I like, I gotta do more. Okay. okay. Like so that. that that like kind of pushed you to keep going? Yeah. Did the skinny girl reach out to you? Yeah. She commented on the vi uh, video. She was like, he doing my dance, y'all. And everybody just went to cussing her out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 
you know how they did that. <laughs> you got Sarah too? Nah. Okay, okay. All right, I, so you I, gonna show me how to do the dance? <laughs> yeah. 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 You need the music or you good? You don't need the music. I don't need the music. Okay. okay. Alright, the first thing I do is I turn it to the side. Yeah. Also, I make sure like I have a good like stretch and stuff. Oh you gotta stretch before the dance? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then like I get I put my hands like this. Uh-huh. And I get in the Shoulder with the part stance. Okay. <laughs> and then I make sure I pull this back like that. Okay. I go for it like that. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. Okay. And then I add my little own little net part. Okay. And you just throw your net back. So Okay. Now put it all together, let me see. Oh, also, you gotta have the lips. <laughs> you gotta have that. Okay. So once you do that, you go like this. <laughs> okay, so after the dance, do you ever feel hurt? No. Nah. <laughs> okay, and how much time do you, you do that? Like, how much time do I gotta keep going? Like, depends on like, what, what beat it is. Okay. And you can do it to any song, or is there a specific yeah, song? Yeah, any song. Okay. Really? So when you go out, do you do the dance or no? Yeah. They be asking me, you know, like when I be places, a lot of, I be having, well, I got a lot of fans now. They be like, do the little shoulder dance. Okay. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But in the club, like, when songs come on, like, especially, they always play, that you know that song about Poppy, Bat Page? Yeah. Yeah, and like at the end of it, when they, um, when he be like, shake them bad, bar, bad buds off. Yeah. Ho, and oh, then, that's the time when yeah. you do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. that part. So the club, so they be looking at me to do that. So okay. I just do that. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Mitri, man. You watching Boss Talk TV, man. Y'all follow me on IG, Mitri Island.